What is your English level? Are you a beginner? Are you intermediate or are you advanced level English learner? Well, if you still don't know your English level, don't panic. By the end of this video, you will have known your English level. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give you a set of questions all the way from beginner level to advanced level. And depending on how many questions you'll be getting in every category, you will know your English level. Are you ready to know your English level? Let's go. I'm Jay and this is Speak English with Jay. We have three English levels, beginner level or elementary level. We have intermediate level and we have advanced level. Each level has two categories. At beginner level, we have A1, A2. At intermediate level, we have B1 and B2. At the advanced level, we have C1 and C2. Let's find out your English level. We're going to start with beginner level questions i'm gonna give you five seconds to answer every question so let's go a1 she blank to read books every day she blank to read books every day you have five seconds the right answer is likes she likes to read books every day the second question i have two blank and one brother i have two sisters and one brother the word two means it's plural so we can't go with sister we're gonna go with sisters with no apostrophe the third question i can't breathe very well have you seen my blank The correct answer is, have you seen my inhaler? Inhaler is used to breathe, especially to people who have asthma. Let's move to A2. I am blank than my dad. I am taller than my dad. We're comparing me to my dad. I am taller than my dad. The next question. If you don't study, you blank the test you will fail the test if you don't study you will fail the test which of these sentences is correct the correct sentence is i went to london by train person is not correct because instead of saying she's married with a doctor we say she is married to a doctor he is a student at oxford university not of oxford university mom likes to cook not mom likes cook and that leaves the third sentence correct how many questions did you get? Did you get all the six questions correct or did you get three? If you only got three correct, that means you are at beginner level. If you got all the answers correct or five correct, congratulations. And let's get to the intermediate level. B1, Mary Blank, early tomorrow morning. will be traveling early tomorrow morning mary will be traveling early tomorrow morning is to traveling is not correct will we say will travel not will traveling is travel we have to have two is to travel tomorrow morning the second question what is the correct response to the following question have you ever been to london The correct response is no, I have never been to London, to someone who has never gone to London. If you've gone to London, the correct response would have been yes, I have gone to London. Yes, I will go to London is not correct because the question is not asking if you will go to London. The third question, repeat this sentence correctly. We enjoy our classes.
They say that they enjoyed their classes. We are reporting what they said. That would be the correct answer. Let's get to B2. Kim Blank have done that to you. But at least she apologized. Kim shouldn't have done that to you, but at least she apologized. Shouldn't is the correct answer. The next question. If Finn said that, it blank true. She never lies. If Finn said that, it must be true. She never lies. The correct answer is must be. The word never implies that it is certain that this girl never lies. So whatever she's saying must be true. The third question. I don't like eating pizza. Blank. Neither do I. I don't like eating pizza. Neither do I. How many answers did you get correct? If you got only three correct, then you are intermediate level. If you got five answers correct and or six answers correct, congratulations. And let's move to the advanced level which is a little bit challenging let's start with c1 they are blank today they're very happy they are blank today they're very happy they are over the moon today they are very happy over the moon is an idiom used to mean very happy down to earth means someone is very humble so we can say that Having a cold feet is being scared or afraid to do something. The next question. They say the watch is a fake. Blank. The seller claims it's real. Conversely, the seller claims it's real. Conversely is used to mean contradiction the, the buyers are saying the watch is a fake while the seller is saying the watch is not a fake so it's contradicting let's move to the third question stacy will be taking the team's challenge blank place of me in place of me that means she will be replacing me. She will be taking the team's challenge in place of me or instead of me. The correct answer is in, in place of me. That is the first part of the advanced level. Let's get the second part. I understand that you're excited to play, but let's just take it blank. Let's just take it one step at a time. One step at a time means Let's take it gradual. Let's take it slowly, continuously. The second question. The pollution in the town had a bad dash on them. Had a bad effect on them. The third question. You said you had some problems in your marriage. Have you blank things blank? The correct answer is, have you patched things up? But to swat things up is actually a British phrase, which means to study intensively. Chind in means to interrupt. And patching things up, which is the correct answer, means to deal with something. How many did you get? Did you get all the six correct? Did you get half of them correct? Or did you get just one correct? If you got all the answers correct, congratulations, you are advanced level English Lana, if you did not get all the answers correct, or you got half of them correct, or you got just one correct, then I'm afraid you did not make it to this level. Let me know in the comment section which question was a little bit challenging to you and which ones did you get correct. Let me know all that in the comment section. And with that being said, I would like to end the video. If you are an English channel is just starting on the English learning journey, I highly recommend that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of my upcoming English videos. And with that being said, let's catch up in my next video. Bye-bye.